Today we're doing a combi swap, and combi swaps are just not exciting, are they? But I promise you, this one is much different to what you would normally expect. Thanks to the changes made to the property, and also thanks to this liter controller that makes an already good boiler into an excellent system. I've got not one but two apprentices today, so I don't have to carry any heavy boilers anymore. Pavel has finished piping uh, the boiler up, condensed and electrics to be done. Two o'clock, three o'clock we go home, that's what happens when we get three people on site. We start at 11. Guys are checking gas pressures now. What's the gas pressure show us? 16. 16 points. So what's the minimum we can have? They don't know. Just they don't check. know. I will just check. One millibar between boiler and meter, but you can allow for a gas train drop. On this one, I think it's 14 millibar. Might be wrong. I think it is 14. Both apprentices are gone now, and I'm power flashing the system on my own. And the reason why they're gone is because they only care about gas qualifications. They only do gas. They only have to do a portfolio for gas, really. So once they qualify, they'll be hopefully really good at gas regulations but if you look at the boiler there's not one pipe connected to it there's five pipes which is a bit strange about current education that all the guys know is gas and that's it nothing else and they go out into the world and they install boilers pretty much not understanding anything else that's connected to it at all obviously I try to push them towards better training I try to push them towards Kimbo or Heat Geek so what you see behind me is the property I'm working on, fully detached, four bedroom house. Originally built with uninsulated cavities and uh, the heat loss of those properties originally with double glazed windows already in place would be around 8 kilowatts. By insulating all the walls and actually replacing original double glazing with a better quality double glazing, the owners, they've managed to drop that heat loss to 5.5 kilowatts. Originally, I quoted for an air source heat pump at this property and the owners decided actually you know what we're gonna insulate the property first then we're gonna put solar panels and then an air source heat pump and in the meantime their existing boiler broke down and they did not want a hot water cylinder they just don't want it they want to keep this boiler for hot water and then later add a heat pump however the property has been already set up for a heat pump so this boiler will run at maximum 50 degrees C flow. So if we've got such an efficient boiler, why would we even consider putting a heat pump? Well, if you think that the new energy cap is three to one, so kilowatt of electricity is around uh, 30 P cap and kilowatt of uh, gas is 10 P cap, then running this boiler at such a low flow temperature will cost at this property around 1600 pounds a year. However, running a heat pump at 40 C flow will cost around six, 700 pounds less. So that's around 40% saving on a heat pump. So in this case, we'll be installing an air source heat pump, but this boiler most likely will stay just to do hot water. If you go to all the radiators, right now they're just 30 degrees. So they look warm, so there you go. You can have lukewarm radiators with the boiler, not only with the heat pump. Most of the radiators, apart for two at this property, will stay as they are because they are already correct size for 40 degrees C flow on a heat pump or 45, 47 on a gas boiler. Uh, because the property is fully insulated and the radiators originally were quite large, not massive, just large and that's enough for super efficient heating on a gas boiler and even more efficient heating on a heat pump. So now you can see the boiler running fully weather compensated, 16 degrees outside, the heat curve is set to 0.9 which gives us about I think 50 degrees when it's minus 2, 
this little control is what made me install those boilers again. Those controls give you so many options and the weather compensation is really nice on that. There's still a lot of things that Valent could improve on those controls, namely uh, user interface, just things are in random places, they're not very user friendly. For example, you have what's called setbacks. Setback is a temperature, lower temperature that you set your boiler or a system to run uh, at night. Uh, so let's say on the daytime you'll have 21 degrees at night, you want, I don't know, 2, 3, 4 degrees lower. To set a setback on this control, you've got two options. One is called eco, one is called active. What they actually mean is eco means off, active means on. So I just don't get why they couldn't name it on or off. Just, just fail and change it to on and off, please. Then you can use this system with purely on weather compensation without room influence. You can also have one of those controls reading the room temperature and uh, relaying that to the boiler that it, and it will affect how the boiler fires. And there are three options, again, f uh, and I think they called something like active, inactive, expanded. Bizarre names that are so hard to grasp. So in a way it's a really nice controller, not very user friendly though. It's tons better to what Valent used to. Uh, produce their old controllers were just incomprehensible. That was one of the reasons that why everyone was fitting uh, third-party controls on off on Valent because Valent controls were just dreadful, awful. This is a step in the right direction but still could be improved by by a large margin but it's so much better than uh, than they used to be and one of the reasons I will get back to fitting those boilers. They are so much better with those controls. And if you're fitting Valent, honestly, don't fit third-party controls. Makes absolutely no sense on combination boilers or system boilers. You really should be fitting them on hot water priority. You really should be fitting sense of comfort. Having said that, you can't buy them anywhere. And if you can buy them, it's probably eBay. It's gonna cost you an absolute fortune. So again, Valent need to get their act together and figure out the way of getting those items back to the market, getting them manufactured again. That boiler will now run on weather comp as a heat pump would do, with the same radiator temperatures, famous lukewarm radiators. And in the winter, the owners of this property will get a chance to see how it feels running a system fully weather compensated, the same way they would do on a heat pump. And if they're happy with the system, next year in the spring, we're gonna come back and we're gonna install a 5 kilowatt Valent Aerotherm heat pump. Reason being, it will further slash their heating bills as compared to this setup by at least 500 pounds a year. So another, another one of those videos where I have to come back and talk to those people probably early next year.